The D.C. Department of Health defines a COVID outbreak as two or more cases of the coronavirus reported at one location in a two-week period. Today, health department data showed there have been 19 COVID outbreaks in local schools dating back to August. But some local schools say so far things are going well. Friendship has a zero positivity rate at its in-person learning hubs. Friendship Public Charter School says it cleans its buildings hourly, conducts wellness checks daily, and tests all 375 of its students every two weeks. You know, our teachers and our families and our partners, our healthcare professionals that are supporting our safety program, we're all on the same page. As for D.C. Public Schools, it's already brought 400 elementary students back to more than 20 schools in what it calls care classrooms. They've had a few positive COVID cases, too. Still, a group of parents are pushing school leaders to open D.C. schools up even more. Roughly 1,000 parents have signed this petition, which reads inexplicably, bars, restaurants, gyms, and salons have remained open even as our children are allowed to fall further behind. But the Washington Teachers Union says it needs even more scientific data showing teachers will be safe before more students are allowed back into the school buildings. We don't have the data and we haven't had the investment from the city to sit down and work with everybody to develop a plan. Right now, DCPS says it expects all of its schools to come up with an in-person learning plan sometime in term three. That starts next month. The superintendent adds that health and safety is the school district's highest priority and that in the coming weeks, it plans to further collaborate with staff and families on its decisions regarding reopening. John Henry, WUSA 9.